I'm back, good afternoon and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I am going to be doing a challenge that I have been um, challenged by Ash from Ash Outdoors. I've got to cook over a wood fire, so you can use wood devices like firebox, um, so I'm going to be using that. Um, I have, um, I'm only allowed three ingredients, you're allowed seasoning and stuff like that, so Obviously being a butcher I am going to use a lovely bit of steak but I've got a decent little thing that I'm going to do with it so let's get stuck into this video but I hope everyone is looking after themselves and staying safe, um, keeping themselves from sane but use that hour that you are allowed for daily exercise, get out there and enjoy that outdoors, get some fresh air but um, keep, keep to the guidelines and we will get through this as quick as we can and uh, we will get back out before you know it. But let's get stuck into this video and let's go. So I'm going to use a um Swedish fire torch method where I cut down these um, bits of hazel a while ago. I'm just going to literally now put one of the um, fire lighters. Finally got that lit, just put that straight down in the middle. Keep that, keep them bits to the side. And what I'm going to do is just put these smaller bits just in between the big, just to create. Just so they touch in, and then they will. It's the first time I tried this. To be fair, I see it quite a lot on Steve's channel. From Firebox out, Firebox stove. As you probably already noticed from the uh, thumbnail, my three ingredients I'm going to be doing for my uh, challenge is going to be um, tagatelli, um, I've got a carbonara sauce um, and I've got a bit of ribeye steak from work which is, um, it's actually been aging in a Himalayan salt wall dry ager for 40 days so what that um, what this salt wall actually does is actually draws the moisture out of the air so um, and obviously helps along with the dry aging of the beef but the uh, the dry aging of beef I'll tell you a little bit about what that actually does but um, you will pay that little bit extra from a butcher for it but what it also does is not only does it sort of make it tender it gives it so much more flavor so if you're going to go outside and you or you're going to go to a barbecue or something like that pay that extra little bit more go and get yourself a bit of dry aged steak from a butcher's a local butcher's and I promise you, you will notice a difference, but um, it's it's another level. But wait until you see this bit here. I'm gonna, I'm literally just sitting here now, waiting for my um, tagatelli to bring up to boil. And then what I'll do is I will keep that in the water, um, just to keep that hot while I cook my steak. 
But um, what I've also done, I've made a little modification to my um, billy can here, is um, I've just drilled a little hole um, in the top of the um, lid. So I've got the um, the metal clips on my billy can. So what that in, what that allows me to do is I can just put one on, one clip on one side, and then I can turn the hole near to the handle so I can pour my water out without sort of losing any of what I've already cooked. But it's another little tip that I got from the uh, the man himself, Steve from Firebox Stove. Um, but yeah, right, while I'm here is um, also want to say thanks to Ash for giving me the, um, nominating me for the challenge. Also, um, thanks for the shout out, mate. Um, got a few subs from that, so um, really appreciate that, buddy. Um, also, like, congratulations to Ash as well for hitting the um, over the thousand uh, subscribers. Um, very well deserved. The, the boy's put the work in, he's, put, he's done his graft, so um, he's reaping the rewards now. So um, well chuffed for you, mate. And uh, fingers crossed our uh, collaboration will still go ahead and um, the ribeyes will be brought, my friend. going to put a tiny bit of oil either side lots of little salt Flip it over, do the other side. Just put a tiny bit of oil. I just like to give that just a little wipe out so it's not. Just so it doesn't sort of like shallow fry the steak really because obviously i want all that marbling to sort of render through Fire is still going there. Yep. Oh, that came out really. Oh yes. Look at that. What I am gonna do is just put this stuff a little bit on there just to keep that heat in. Look at the juices. So 
I've just drained all that water away. Just going to add my uh, creamy carbonara sauce. Give that a good little mix up. Where are you? Season, salt, bit of pepper, let's carve this bad boy up. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Right. Time to dish it up. Oh god. That steak is unbelievable. Some tagatelli. Oh. Ash, you're a legend for nominating me, mate. <laughs> I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to tell you who my nominations are. what a lunch <laughs> but um yeah no that was unbelievable thanks very much ash for nominating me so my three nominations for the uh cooking challenge are gonna be i want to see um joe outdoor adventure i want to see what you can come up with mate um i also want to see what Wy white rose outdoors can do um and obviously this is probably what he does every day anyway but um the absolute legend that is steve from firebox stove i want to see you do a video mate so um so thanks for clicking on the video really appreciate it let me know in the comments what you thought of it like comment subscribe um i've got a i've i've been very quiet on my channel recently um i'm just other commitments going on and stuff like that but I, um, I've got a lot of plans, a lot, um, a lot of videos in mind that I'm going to be doing. So, um, especially with Sweden being cancelled due to the coronavirus and that, but 
which I'm absolutely gutted about, but it's um, it's still there, it still will be paid, um, sorry, it's still been paid for, and I will do it later on in the year, or maybe beginning part of next year, but um, looking forward to um, you boys of what you're going to do, uh, your nominations are there, and um, remember, stay safe, keep smiling, and make sure you subscribe, cheers.